How did you get Jess to go along with all the pranks? Um, what's going on everyone? I don't know why, but today I feel like I've been uh, hit with a bag of bricks. Anyway, the reason why I'm doing a Q&A kind of video today is because I asked you guys what you want me to do a Storytime Sunday video about and you just asked me random questions. So I thought I'd just put it all into one video, I guess. As usual, if you have not subscribed, please click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Otherwise you'll miss all these videos. And this is usually the time that I would plug my merch as well but if you did not know my uh, my merch all around by Maitland is actually temporarily closed because of this whole pandemic thing going on at the moment it's just taking way too long for distribution at the moment and I'm not happy about that and if I'm not happy about something that's going on then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push it all right now let's just get straight into it I guess first we start with a banger a man called Darren Humphreys has asked me a question saying favorite moment in your life now I've got so many favorite moments in my life I've uh, I've lived a pretty prosperous life so far. I'm 25 and I've done so much shit. It's been great. I used to love being a kid. Obviously, being a kid, you had no responsibilities, no stress, nothing. You just did your own shit. And you shit where you want to shit. But if I'm talking about a memory that will never leave my mind ever, it's uh, it's probably traveling New Zealand. I traveled around New Zealand with Jess. We, we did a road trip in a car around the North and South Island and that's probably the most fun that I've had ever. I, I just love the fact that I was free, free to travel anywhere we wanted, whenever we wanted. Devron Trent asks, how did you get Jess to go along with all the pranks? Um, I don't know. I've always been like a bit of a clown anyway, so I've always, always been playing jokes and being a bit of a dickhead. But but I guess I just started doing little things and she started doing little things and then it became a career, I guess. Just a career out of pranking each other. It's not the worst career that you could have. Brent Palmer asked, what happened to your ear? So if you watch my like Facebook and Instagram stories, then you've probably seen yesterday my ear was bleeding a bit. You can kind of see it's just a teeny tiny little cut. That's all it is. I finally got to spar again last week. It's been a very, very, very long time. So that was super fun. But yes, I did in fact cut my ear while we were sparring. Ken Fowl asks, ever had any mental health issues? Um, so this one could be like a, a whole video on its own, but the, the short answer is yes. I feel like basically everyone has had to deal with mental health issues. I'm not going to dive into all of them, but the answer is yes. Yes, I have suffered mental health issues. In fact, I still do to this day. Tyler Edwards wants to know, I got to know if you or your buddy play or played RuneScape. Yes, yes, I did. Back in the day, I used to play RuneScape all the time, picking the flax and selling the flax. In fact, I was a member. I play Castle Wars. I'll do all that shit. I think the last time I played RuneScape, I was in grade seven, but I used to love that game. Liv Jansen has hit me with a, a great question actually this one is awesome you guys are asking some pretty good questions and this one is a very good one what have been your struggles and setbacks that you have overcome and now can say you've learned from there's heaps there's so many so many setbacks in life life is literally that life is literally just getting hit with something and having to overcome it to become better one thing I've learned is never take your health or life for granted my health was declining dramatically through like my teenage years and stuff like that I'm starting to feel a bit better now, but still I have so many f***ing health issues. Also, thanks to doing this kind of stuff, uh, don't care what other people think about you. When you enter this world as a baby, you do not give a f*** about what anyone thinks. When you leave this world as an old man, you don't give a f*** about what anyone thinks. But for some reason, in the middle, everyone cares what everyone thinks. Be a baby, be an old f***ing man or woman, and don't give a f*** about what people think. Let your titties flop. Another one, be kind to everyone. Everyone is going through something. You never know what someone else is going through. They could be lashing out at you because they are so, so miserable themselves. You'll even see if people comment on my stuff and they're commenting like negative shit and stuff like that. I'll reply with either something nice or something smart ass because it's funny. But I'll never reply with hate. I never fight fire with fire. It's a terrible thing. And I guess the last one is to work your ass off and never be content. If you are content in life, you will never get further. If you are not content, you'll continue to progress. You'll continue to be better, 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 better. And that's what you want. Work your ass off. If you want to get anywhere in life, you have to work, work, work. And I guess we'll do one more. This one's from someone called Brian Lever asking how Aria became a part of your little family. Um, Aria was an anniversary gift actually. So Jess got Aria for me for one of our anniversary dates. I got home from work and I turned around and Jess had a little kitten in her hand. And this little kitten had no name, but I named her Aria. She, literally, she just sat in the palm of my hand. And as soon as I seen her, love at first sight. She's my best friend now. 
We hang out every single day. Best gift ever. Anyway, that's it for this week. If you guys want to see another one of these next week, then please let me know below and I'll answer some more questions. In fact, you guys can ask me questions on this video or send me DMs on Instagram or Facebook and I may use your question next week as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications and don't worry about the merch because it's temporarily closed. Much love to you all. Peace and happiness. Prosper. Be young, chong and fertile and everything is good when you are in the hood. So, with that said, so bald.